Use this glitchy route on third down situations against cover three spammers to get one plate touchdowns and more. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I share on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button, man, so I can get these videos out to you a little bit sooner. You don't have to find them and search for them. Alright, so guys, I want to talk about a play that I stumbled onto uh, while I was labbing uh, the single back ace pair or the single back wing formation. Uh, it is uh, out of the Colts, the Jaguars, uh, the Falcons, the Cowboys, the Eagles, the Raiders, the Cardinals, the 49ers, and the Dolphins. So you got nine different books you can choose from. The play I was looking at was the single back wing. Uh, in particular is the, uh, the, the play action comeback and go. Now, um, when I was in the lab, I discovered that this particular play is very, very effective against cover three shells. The, the corner that on the right hand side will bite down on that cover three shell and allow you to go and hit your opponent up for a huge play down uh, down the sideline. And then you also have a nice uh, uh, a route that comes over to the other side too, making it uh, an area of the field that your opponent has to defend. So there's a lot of ways you can run this play. I'm gonna run this extremely generic. I'm gonna block basically seven and make this a very simple play to do, but you can you can obviously make adjustments out of it. But what's cool about this is this will abuse anybody that likes to run a lot of cover three. So it's basically out of the single back ace pair or the single back wing, depending on what uh, what you're looking at. And it's the play action, come back and go. And ideally, uh, this play really beats a lot of cover three shells in the game. All right, so uh, basically it doesn't really matter where you have the ball. You can either be on a left hash or the right hash. Uh, just for the breakdown, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the left side. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to block seven. I'm going to take my running back, and I'm going to go ahead and streak him up. Uh, and even if your ball is on the right-hand side, the, the running back is going to streak up off the left. And that's actually key because that's going to give you another read. Now, one of the things I do, too, is I like to take my ins my slot receiver on the left side of the screen uh, and I actually slide him in one uh, in a step or stow. And the reason I do that is actually it's a part of a full scheme that I'm going to be breaking down uh, on my, my channel and also um, on my Patreon. But really where the action is at is going to be the right side is going to be Parker uh, with this up and go. So hopefully we can hold our blocks. This is not one of the better defenses in the game right now, but you can see right there a massive block shed. I'm going to slide this guy over. We're going to go ahead and sh uh, protect off the left. We're in practice mode. Now watch what happens right here he actually just burns his guy for an easy touchdown opportunity. So I'm going to show you what happens with this particular play and why it just glitches out the defender off to the left-hand side uh, where this, this route is at. So this is a guy that's actually supposed to play over the top coverage. And you can see right here, this comeback route, he actually thinks that he has to come down and bite it, and then it's a double move, and then all of a sudden the guy is gone. He's actually past, uh, past that defender. He's completely out of position. Now, if you've got a Tariq Hill over here or a guy that's got 95 speed or whatever, he's going to be able to go and get those big completions all the time, and it really forces the, the center field to go, uh, center field or the, the safety to go ahead and make a play because uh, if, that's, if that guy over the middle is actually going ahead and playing down, there's no way he's going to go ahead and, and attack this and get this ball so this is a good play to go good route to jump into against guys that like to run cover three so we're going to go ahead and streak up our, our running back this just gives us another progression over the middle and we're going to watch uh, for the block right here and as you can see right there we get this opportunity uh, for an easy play so the the corner actually the defensive back actually comes up and makes a play on it uh, but you can see uh, i got past the defensive back off to the right hand side and that, that's going to obviously give me an opportunity for a huge play. So watch here. Now we've got a bunch of guys actually in the area because that was like a cover, that was like a match formation, but you can see it just gets past it. Now, one of the things with this is you also have this crossing route with stills over the middle. And that actually gives you another area to go and tack. I've also got this streak route by the running back. This is going to be a little bit too high of a ball right there. Just uh, just got it off a little bit too much. But that's an area of the field that you can go ahead and attack and it's actually better against cover two. So let's watch Still's route. Uh, he should be able to get over the middle of the field. So you can see here, running back route. 
on the backhand side. So if your opponent is expecting um, those two routes right there, you can actually, you've got basically some deep balls that you can actually hit them with, and he's going to have a hard time. Another thing, too, is that you've got this little check down with the running back route. So look at this, this guy's just wide open. The corner's nowhere near him right there, and I'm getting an easy completion for a touchdown. So, guys, if you run into cover three spammers, guys that run a lot of cover three, uh, this is a very good route to throw in your scheme. You only have a few different playbooks. If you're running custom, I would actually go ahead and recommend playing around with this because it's a good opportunity to go ahead and get yourself some cheap uh, touchdowns against guys that run cover three with this route combination. So once again, to my subscribers, guys, if you do like this type of tip, make sure you hit the like button. And until next time.